Okay. Hi, everybody. And welcome to Prey. I have played this game before. I played this game once when it came out. And I'm extremely excited to return to it. So, that's really about it. Um, I This game has been awesome. I did come back and play the Moon Crash DLC, which is one of my favorite DLCs ever. Actually, I love the Moon Crash DLC. And, uh, yeah. I am really looking forward to playing this again. Let's see. Let's do... Work this windowed. Okay, let's go to advanced settings. Get everything as high as it'll go. Eight act. Half ref what? Why are these on half resolution? That's weird. Uh, we'll try this at 95, but we may adjust that. Is it like an overall settings? Oh, preset. Yeah, let's do, let's do very high. Very high. Cool. That way. Okay. Subtitles on all dialogue. Uh, do we need camera bob? I think most of you don't like camera bob. Let's turn that off. Let me unplug my controller. Okay. Wait, what's New Game Plus? New modes available? Wait. Survival mode. Weapons wear down from use and environmental hazards. If not repaired, they will jam periodically. Adds new trauma statuses to the game, such as bone fracture, concussion, hemorrhage, and third degree burn. Suit damage causes air to leak from your suit, limiting your air supply in environments with no atmosphere, such as the station exterior. Oh, you're going to regret it? I already do. Yeah. I already do. Let's go. Good morning, go Morgan. Stop. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Uh-oh. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're going to shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. JD Righteous, thank you for the 20 gift bomb. Starting this off right. I really appreciate it. Uh, somebody said, why did I put anastropic filtering on eight? You know what? Actually, I, I probably don't need to do that. We played a game recently where that setting caused some issues. Uh, so I'm just a little hesitant of it, but we, we probably don't need to worry about that on this one. Yeah, it's fine. Wow, that is great. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Okay. Well, let me get rid of this filthy VIP. Wait, did someone beat me to it? No. Don't forget to wear your suit. Oh, I'm not wearing my suit. Cabalish, thank you, buddy. You beat me to it, dude. You beat me to it. Okay. Instar employee workstations often contain useful information, files, and utilities. F paradox. So glad to hear you're coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Hmm. Send a package with everything you need for your first day. Uniform transcribe it a Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away and we'll run some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. 
Got the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're New York company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She's really fat. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Cool. I'll take that. And that. And that. And you. Yeah. Neuromod application instructions. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. Press orange trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes. Ugh. God. That was horrible. You hold your height. Prey 2 would be cool. The world needs more Deus Ex and more Prey. 100%. One hundred percent. Your mom has a bony orbit. What? You slow down, Sam. This is a family-friendly channel. Jerk. That is such an arcane picture. I love it. Going on. Drink. Congrats, Morgan. Alex. I drank it before work today, bro. <laughs> I'm smart. One thing that is so nice about this game is the search system. You just mouse over stuff, it automatically opens it, and then you just decide if you want to take it. That's like a revolutionary step forward for games like this. I absolutely love it. Hey, Bullsy. No, you're a search system? Dude, what is up with chat today? What is going on here? What's with what's with all this negativity? All this all this extreme negativity. I understand you guys. Lord. Such anger, such hatred. Such vitriol. Hey Dr. Snaz, what's up, buddy? Okay, I think that's about everything in here. I'm trying to remember if there's any secrets. You love my secrets. Here. This looks secrety. Or it's a closet. Space. Okay. Hmm. Good morning to you, Pete. How you doing today? Okay. Hmm. 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 Morning, Mr. Yu. Good morning. How do I walk? Is there, is there a walk in this game? I don't remember. Sneak is C. Sprint is shift. There's no RP walk? The game is Garbo. Well, I guess I'll keep playing it. Yeah. <clears throat> you gotta use controller if you want to go slow. Oh, that's right! Is this the game that we had the controller plugged in for RP walk? That's right. Whoa, wait a second. JD Wright just did two 20 gift bombs? Dude! Thank you. Wow. Okay. Really appreciate that, my friend. Sorry, I missed the second one. That's kind of flying this morning. I really appreciate that, Righteous. Thank you. Oh, dude, here comes the music.
Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Night 87, do you still remember the plot of this game? I remember the ending. Uh, and I remember a key event or two. But the details and stuff, it's been a while. Yeah. That's a nice view on the bay there. It's so cool. I love how they did this. That being said, quick reminder, a lot of people watching have never seen this game before. So please hesitate from keeping major spoilers uh, in chat. We are just like usual. We do prefer that you don't spoil anything that I'm playing at the time because we do have a pretty large community. And there's generally a lot of people watching that have not seen what we're doing. So we will definitely talk about the stuff in this game as we get to it. Yeah. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Wait a second, Good didn't my bro say he gave us a neuromod? I might have forgotten the neuromod. Unless maybe he already used it. Hello, Dr. Yu. Hi. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I Me know too. I am. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. All our labs meet the minimum. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Yes, this game is on Game Pass, I believe. It's also on Epic. We are an Epic partner. If you do pick it up, you can use my code COHH. We appreciate it. Uh, I think it's also on Steam. Morgan. Maybe even GOG. Finally. Yeah, there's, you got lots of options. Hi. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. Yeah, it was also free on Epic just a little bit ago. Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Thanks, bro. Dr. Yu. Hi. Can we talk? No. Can I come back and say hi? No. Bad face. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Hi. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. <laughs> Wonderful. That's 
You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Okay. I'm good at okay, this. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. A scared animal. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? At all? No? No, that's fine. You think at all? Sorry, let's keep things moving. Hey, I'm right here. Head into room no, he's gone. C. Oh, he's back. No, he's gone. Marvelous. I'm doing marvelous. Yeah. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. We didn't have the sus emote when I played this game the first time. <laughs> I just realized it's going to get a workout this playthrough. Yeah. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. We're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know and love, or try something new. Something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Um, it was worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. <laughs> A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Switch tracks. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Oh, push the fat man. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping out of the track, but you would die. Push the fat man. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Where's my coffee? It's empty. Oh, oh my God! Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Those wondering, he was drinking Coalition Good morning, Blend. Morgan. You can find Today it at Kodot TV Monday, slash March coffee. 15th, 2032. It'll bite your head off.
six emails. Danger, leave now. Okay. I mean, I, that sound, sounds good. Wait, wasn't this was over there last time? Better drink it. Um, Punch Duck says, I'm busy pushing fat men. Call you back, co -fun. Okay, well, that happened one time. It's really not fair. A few times. Tell me what to do. I'll make it happen. Is there any more hanging around you? <clears throat> Asking for help, man. Note. Sleeping, wakes up, turns off alarm, checks transcribe, on computer various tasks, takes shower, puts on uniform, exits apartment. <clears throat> That's a lot of coffee things. Ooh. Audio event, wake up. Hey, Morgan. Oh, wow. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, I want to put headphones on today. I decided to come on board. We're going to shake things I feel up, like, Morgan. I feel like this game deserves headphones. Like old times. I want to hear all the things. <clears throat> if you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes you need to put an extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside your department. A stationwide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. Wow. 
Ash cart. Oh man. Bad news bears. That's cool, that's cool. That's a totally normal sound. Okay. Test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods, touch base with graves, and figure out what went wrong? This should be your absolute highest priority. I go back. There we go. Dumb school people telling us what to learn and know and smarties. Nice. Scene editor? Cool. What? Okay. The Festus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Okay. Percussive maintenance. <laughs> Oh, hi. <clears throat> I said upside down. Uh oh. I know. Exiled Coalition Blend. Ground selected only from the finest coffee snob zombies. <laughs> That's right. How did you know? Thank you, Exile, for the ten dollar tip to the mod team. Or the paper. <gasps> what? That's cool. That's a normal thing that happens to normal people. It's fine. <laughs> 